hello guys this is chapter 4 and today we are going to solve two questions which are closely relevant with each other so the first question is 4.13 and the statement of it is the density function of the continuous random variable x the total number of hours in units of 100 hours that a family runs a vacuum cleaner over a period of one year is given in exercise 3.7 on page 92 of the ninth edition of the book as fx is equal to x for the range of x greater than 0 less than 1 uh, 2 minus x for the range of x which is greater or equal to 1 and less than 2 and 0 elsewhere okay so on the basis of this data what do we have to find out we have to find the average number of hours per year that families run their vacuum cleaners okay so again first of all we have to find the estimated or expected value which is basically the average value and after it we have to multiply it with the units which is here 100 okay so uh, let me first solve it and in solving it let me have its solution here okay so the expected value of x here would be what it will be okay this would be the integral of x with the f of x dx okay but here as we have two units so therefore i have to integrate them separately okay so the first unit here will be the integration from 0 to 1 and it would be the x and it would be here x as well which is the value of fx okay so uh, this x is here while the value of fx is here okay and with it i have to integrate it okay similarly with it i have to add the other value which is uh, again x the value of x and with it i have to multiply what 2 minus x which is fx for the range of 1 to 2 and then d of x okay so that is what we have so let me first integrate them and it would be 0 to 1 x square dx plus 1 to 2 okay multiplying this x inside so i will get 2x minus x square okay and d of x okay or integrating this one i will get x cube divided by 3 0 to 1 okay and integrating them separately because there is a sign of negative here okay so therefore i have to integrate them separately and here integrating it i will get 2 into x square divided by 2 and here it will be from 1 to 2 and also here this would be uh, x cube divided by 3 and it will be from 1 to 2 okay let me put these values and here it will be 1 by 3 plus these two will cancel out and it will become 2 to 4 4 minus 1 is uh, 3 okay and also here it will become what it will be 1 by 3 and uh, 8 minus 1 is 7 okay so it would be 1 by 3 plus 3 minus 7 by 3 okay so let me calculate it and here it will be the lcm of it will be 3 and here it would be 1 similarly plus 9 okay and here it will be minus 7 okay so i will get 10 minus 7 is 3 so 3 by 3 is 1 okay so uh, there is this one which is the answer now in order to find the average number of hours per year that families run their vacuum cleaner i have to take this uh, value which is the expected value and multiply it with the number of units okay so the uh, let me start doing it here so the average number of hours okay how can we do it multiplying the uh, number of hours in units okay so which is 100 and multiplying it with the expected value of ex which is here 1 okay so let me put it here as well and putting it here i will get here 
100 as well okay and that is what that is the solution of question 4.13 and 100 hours are the average number of hours that families run their vacuum cleaners okay so that is the solution of question 4.13 let me move to question 4.14 so in question for 4.14 we have to find the proportion x of individuals who can be expected to respond to a certain mail order solicitation if x has the density function which is given here okay so this proportion of x is basically the expected value okay so the same formula has to be employed here so for this we have to let me start solving it here and uh, for it let me write here e of x Okay, and also the x and the formula for f of x is 2x plus 2 divided by 5 and d of x and the range of it is from 0 to 1 so therefore I have to write it 0 1 okay now uh, simplifying it me moving this 2 by 5 out of it okay and here multiplying this x inside of it what i will get here it will be 0 to 1 and i will get x square plus 2x and it will be d of x okay also this 2 by 5 outside and here 0 to 1 x square dx and this 2x will become 2 0 to 1 x dx okay so now let me solve it again so it will be 2 by 5 and here it will become x cube divided by 3 from 0 to 1 plus here x square divided by 2 and here multiplying it with this 2 which is here and it is also from 0 to 1 as well these two will cancel out and i will get what let me move down somehow okay so here it will be 2 by 5 so here it will be 1 by 3 okay and here it will be 1 okay also this will be 2 by 5 and here it will be 3 so 4 by 3 okay because this will be 1 and here it will be 3 so uh, 4 by 3 and uh, multiplying them together we will get 8 by 15 and that is what that is the solution of question 4.14 okay so that is what we have and uh, these are the all of these questions are basically relevant with the mathematical expectation of the continuous random variable or continuous uh, probability density function so that's it for today if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon